chapter 15 of Brave New World, John leaves the ward after his mother's death and he finds himself in the middle of two Bokanovsky groups of identical deltas. The working day over, they're lining up for their daily dose of soma. But what John sees is a nightmare of swarming, indistinguishable sameness, swarming like maggots. Shakespeare's lines come back to him. How beauteous mankind is. Oh, brave new world. But this time the lines mock him derisively. On repeat in his mind, the singing lines change their tone. Now they trumpet a call to arms. They issue a challenge, a command to John. And he responds by starting a riot, shouting that he will free them all. And he tosses the Soma out a window. <laughs> Bernard and Helmholtz arrive in time to save John just before the police. With a laugh of exultation, Helmholtz joins his friend in the angry mob, but Bernard hesitates and later he tries to evade the police. The mob is calmed by the voice of reason and good feeling, playing continuously through the synthetic music box. Reacting to the familiar words of the recording, the Deltas once again line up the newly supplied distribution table, and John, Hemholtz, and Bernard are led away by the police. This chapter is the climax of the novel, the moment when John's idealism finally erupts into disgust, disillusionment, and active resistance. Shakespeare's lines are the cue here, first uttered with joyous wonder and malpaste in chapter five, then with irony in chapter eight. Here in chapter 15, the lines deride Bakanovsky and sameness to become a battle cry against the world state. Chapter 15 also illustrates the Fordian idea that uncensored literature and intense emotion can lead to social unrest. The point is to pit the prison of numbed conformity against the freedom of human experience and action, making clear the dystopian nightmare of Huxley's vision. This society does not offer a brave new world at all, but a place afraid of human feeling, independent thinking, and the innovation that comes from nonconformity. The riot is John's turning point. It's both his reason for being and also his point of no return. The climax of Huxley's satiric novel leads to the denouement and resolution. <laughs>